Hi there, Eric Campbell here from White Light Media. Welcome to my home office, which I'm currently sharing with my young son. You can see from the fantastic decoration. Nikki asked me if I would contribute to her series of people talking about their favourite magazines, and I was only too happy to oblige. So, the title I'm going to be talking to you today about is 8x8, football magazine produced in the United States of America. I'm a big fan of magazines that can really take the subject matter and do it in a bit of a different way. And 8x8 does this in spades. It's so creative. It's got such an unusual way of dealing with the story, genre, the typography, the um, illustrations and the photography. They all work together in a, a kind of fantastic, really creative way. And as soon as you get into the magazine, you can see straight away how that manifests itself. I've pulled out a few features here to show you the kind of approach that they take. First one here is on goalkeeping mistakes. You see here a really punchy headline, really iconic photography, and then lots of different uses of page furniture to, to keep the reader in. And then, of course, following on with lots of shots of goalies in the back of their nets. Who doesn't enjoy that when it happens? And this is an example of the use of illustration. You've got these portraits of Manchester United legends through the era by Ben Kirchner. And it just really brings the subject matter to life with the kind of, again, playful typography. And it just, I think these just really punch off the page. You recognise all these famous faces in this kind of playful style that they've been, they've been done in. And it's just really, really good. Again, going back to kind of classic stuff again, and all these programmes, you know, the, the feature here is called a pie a pint and a programme. And it's just all these programme covers through the eras from, from different teams. And again, it's just really nice to see. And I really like the way they pull out the information here with these uh, different text styles. And you've still got the, the run of the body copy running across the, the pages as well. It's really punchy, really simple, but it just really works out really well. And again, really punchy typography in this feature here. Uh, advice to players, which takes a lot of infographics in the next few pages, as you'll see. But on this, it's just really nice the way they're kind of using the gradients, the colour, and then this kind of graphic style, uh, kind of a, a homage to Hamlet, as it were. And you've got various things here, strong photography too, a bit more kind of infographic style using illustration as well. And then this feature here, it definitely drew me in, being a Scotsman, talking about uh, the farce, tragedy, heroism, brilliance and disaster of Scottish teams throughout the ages. And a lot of uh, Scottish football fans will recognise these faces through, throughout the different era. And it's just it was a really intriguing story and it's put together really, really well, written really nicely. So yeah, that's just a couple of the spreads from a magazine that I really, really enjoy reading called... Eight by eight.